Hey guys, I'm Carly. Um, this is my first video, and so for my first video, I am going to be doing like suggestions on character voices. So, um, I was in Bye Bye Birdie once, and I played Mrs. Peterson, who is like the overbearing mother, and like you know she doesn't want her son Albert, the main character, to get married or anything. So to the other character, Rosie. So she, and she has a very, like, distinctive voice. And so I don't really remember a lot of my lines, but her voice was kind of, like, really annoying. So if I wanted to take a monologue from this book, Winning Monologues for Young Actors by Peg Carrot, it's not mine. Disclaimer, I do not own this book. Well, I own it, but it's not mine. I did not create this or anything. Um, if I wanted to do something as lame as writing the merry-go-round from this, if I, in her voice, I do it right now. Okay. When we go to the country fair tomorrow, David and John are going to ride on the black hole. They want me to ride on it too, to prove I'm not scared. I don't really want to go on the hole. To tell the truth, I don't see much point in twirling upside down in the dark till you're so dizzy you can't get sick to your stomach. But all the guys want to ride on the black hole just so they can say they did it. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's exactly how I did it in the show, but that's basically her voice. And so if you want to portray, like, an older woman who's, like, very annoying and, like, oh my god, I don't want my get <laughs> I don't want my son to get married or anything. She usually has, like, an accent or, like, a New York accent, yeah. Like, a very alienated voice, I guess, if I wanted to read, like, even one of the suggestions from the back. Rave notices from users and reviewers. These 65 short monologues will satisfy young people's needs for audition or classroom drama material. Budding thespians should find something suitable without r resorting to playing Blanche Dubois or Willie Loman from Booklist. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, so, and then if you want to be like an old woman who's very prim and proper, you should go with a more like airy voice like this or something because I was in the dining room and I played um, Aunt Harriet and she was she was like a wasp if you know that she's very proper she like the whole scene was about her setting up her old place setting her, her niece who was in college was taking pictures of it for a project and she got really uh, angry so her voice was more like this except it it's it's very important if you're doing a voice like this not to sound British unless you are portraying someone who is British so if I wanted to like read like this little blurb here, I'd be like, sixty-five honest to life characters characterizations to delight young actors and audiences of all ages. Like very like convincing, like someone who thinks like they're being very deliberate and thinks they're cool basically. And like very airy and like you're using your head voice when you do everything which I do not like to do because when I sing I belt I'm not a soprano like well I am a soprano because I can I'm a coloratura I can hit really like insane notes but like not while I'm belting because I'm I love to belt and like literally I'm a belter like literally dude um <laughs> I know just so you know without these videos I'm gonna be really weird um so okay um a couple more voices let's see I love doing this voice. This is a very good voice for a really dark character like Darth Vader or something. But not everyone can do that voice. So it's going to be really, really hard to explain that. So I'm not going to do that voice. Okay. If you want to do like, um, like a really, like a white girl voice. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Not like mine. Because like people have told me I'm like the least white, white girl they've ever seen. So I have a sticky note over here on my laptop that's like, something for history. It's like, what is the issue of secularism in France, especially for Muslims? So, I'm just gonna read it in, like, a white girl voice. The Muslims aren't allowed to wear their religious hijab because the government of France sees it as ecclesiastical, whatever that means, and that they are trying to make others convert to their religion, when really, they should have the right to wear whatever they want, and that they can support their religion. They are not attempting to advertise it. The government should protect the Muslims. So yeah, basically, you kind of fluctuate. Like, with this voice, you kind of fluctuate between, like, note, like notes, I guess. Um, 
the Muslims aren't allowed to wear their religious hijab. Like, see how it went, like, up and down? Like, that's basically it. Um, <laughs> that's basically a white girl, but, like, if you wanted to do, like, a really laid back, like, kind of, like, a really bit cool girl, like, like, like the girl, the pilot girl from Avatar or something, like, someone, a girl who's really suave and cool and, like, I don't know, she could be your, like, your favorite character because she's just so awesome. Like, the Black Widow or whatever. Be like, what is the issue of secularism in France, especially for Muslims? The Muslims aren't allowed to wear their religious hijab because the government of France sees it as ecclesiastical and that they are trying to make others convert to their religion. When really, they should have the right to wear whatever they want and that they can support their religion. They are not attempting to advertise it. The government should protect the Muslims. Like, for this one, you want to be very authoritative and, I don't know, a kind of a deeper voice. Because you kind of want to be like, you yeah, know, like, like those awesome girls kind of, like, are always sarcastic. They're like, oh, if the guy is like, hey, you're cool, they would be like, no, I don't want you to do that to me. Like, they have a kind of a raspier voice or, like, a lower voice. And they're very authoritative. So, um, <laughs> I can... These were basically just character voices. If you want me to hear me do like really weird voices like this or like this or like this, um, please ask in the comments. So yeah, bye guys.